Picture this, it's late, you've just got back from work, and you want to watch a film. You think this one looks alright, but you want to check its rating online. But each website has a different score, so whose do you trust? Hi there, I'm a film student, and welcome back to Silver Screen Academy. Today we'll be comparing IMDb, Letterboxd, and Rotten Tomatoes to ensure you don't have to have that problem again. But before we get into the meat of the video, I just want to say thank you so much for our 100 subscribers. It's been crazy that we've been able to do that in like two weeks of consistent uploads, so thank you. Anyway, enough ramping. Let's begin. Let's meet our contenders. IMDb, the international movie database known for its user-driven ratings. Letterboxd, the social platform for film buffs. And Rotten Tomatoes, where you hear from both the critics and the viewers. Each has its own charm, but which is most accurate? First up, let's look at IMDb. I've always found this site to be the sort of Wikipedia of films. Like if you want to know who that actor is or when this film came out, you'd look it up here. This site definitely has the most professional feel in my opinion, yet if you want to post a review, if someone wants to post a review, you can sign up and do that super quickly. I feel like I can always rely on it to give out good information, but let's check out their top five films to see how good their rating system is. Now I know best films are just opinions, but that's exactly what we're after, so I'll be giving mine too. First up, we see that Godfather 1 and 2 were in here, in that order, which would make sense, but I've heard that Godfather 2 is always much better than number 1. Shawshank Redemption and 12 Angry Men are great choices, but I do feel that The Dark Knight is a little high. My reasoning being is that while it is a great film, like some of the best acting there is, the story didn't massively wow me. It seems pretty run-of-the-mill for just, you know, superhero films. And I know a fair few will disagree with me, so I'd love to talk about it and know why in the comments. Now, Letterboxd is a little different. It doesn't go into as much detail about the film itself as much as it focuses on being a sort of social media platform. It shows you the overall score of the film, but then it also shows you what each of your friends have rated it. And that's what I really like about Letterboxd, is that you can really personalise it, like you make your own profile, and on top of that, you can showcase what your top four films of all times are for your friends to see. So. It's very different to the other two sites in that sense, but we haven't talked about the ratings yet. So what's interesting here is that there are two old Japanese films, like from the 50s or 60s, and I've watched both of them, so I do think it's safe to say they deserve to be on this list. We've touched a little on these two films, and it seems like my memory served me right, because The Godfather 2 is in the top five, yet the original's taken the eighth place spot, you know, which is still amazing. <laughs> and this last film here is, like, deeply harrowing. If you're in for a heavy hitter and you want to watch a film that will forever change you, attempt to watch this film. On a side note, minus points for putting my favourite film so low down, because obviously I am objectively right. Okay, so so far these seem pretty neck and neck, so let's see what Rotten Tomatoes has to offer. Now on first glance, Rotten Tomatoes seems a bit wild. I mean, the bright colours don't exactly scream professional and the layout can sometimes be a bit all over the place, but I'm not here to review web design. <laughs> that is not part of the, the, the score today. I want to talk purely about how well they rate films. Rotten Tomatoes show the critics' score as well as the audience score, which is a big part of their gist. If you already know which film you want to look up, all the info is given to you there right away. Even if it does look a little messy, the information itself is really high quality. But let's talk about their top five films. Let's start by saying that there isn't a specific list for the top five films, so I've spent a fair bit of time looking for the top five for both the critics and the audience scores. So admittedly, two of these films I hadn't even seen before, Stop Making Sense and Rewind, I, I wasn't able to watch them, so I did a fair bit of research on them instead. I think it's safe to say, they're hidden gems. I mean, hidden to me, at least. <laughs> and the highest rated film is The Seven Samurai, which again, I completely see why. And I know that it has the same score as these other two, and so you're probably thinking, why is this one the highest? Well, I've chosen that because it has a lot more reviews by the critics than these other two. Okay, now we've explored the top five films on each platform, it's time for the result. Before I reveal it, please be sure to like the video and comment if you agree or disagree, and also be sure to follow my Instagram and TikTok down below to be notified of when I'm going to be uploading next. Right, the winner is Rotten Tomatoes! Why? Well, the mixture of critics and audience reviews determining the overall score really adds something. And granted, critics can sometimes be wrong, but that's not the fault of the website in my opinion. Letterboxd is more of a casual social media type thing, IMDb is more like a Wikipedia for films, and Rotten Tomatoes has the best rating system. And on that note, I hope you have a wonderful- I'm sorry for stopping the video, but I just want to say thank you for all the support and the amazing, interesting comments you guys have left. I've, I've enjoyed absolutely every second of this whole process. So to commemorate that, I suppose, I'm going to give you a little bloopers reel. Um, <laughs> so here you go. I hope you enjoy. And again, thank you. I'll explain. I'll explain. We're diving into five categories and scoring each of them out of ten. 
10 Things I Hate About You. This is the best romance film. Full stop. <laughs> Please do watch this. Please watch it. Please do watch it. Definitely watch it. Okay, these seem pretty neck and neck so far, so let's see what Rotten Nut... <laughs> Rotten Nut is. Stephen Hawking emailed the director of The Theory of Everything. The Theory of Everything. The Theory of Everything. The director of The Theory of Everything. The Theory of Everything. The Theory of Everything. The I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in next week's video. Bye bye. <laughs>